Well, hello, folks out there in YouTube land. Got a big show lined up for you. Let's get right on into it. All right, let's pull up that screen. On NEO, why is NEO up today? It's had a look, nice little uptick. There's actually three reasons uh, why NEO is doing a little bit better. And I think long term, this should be uh, bullish for NEO. And what's helping NEO uh, today is the reports that Chinese government is incentivizing consumers to buy the EVs. And it said authorities in Beijing are encouraging banks to lower lending rates to drive sales of electric vehicles, which will, of course, will benefit the EV manufacturers such as NEO. And it also, the news also comes as the Rony Rona restrictions ease in the country, enabling EV companies to ramp up their manufacturing. And we saw that in June when uh, NEO's numbers jumped real nicely. It says the Chinese ministry is pushing for more financial incentives to increase electric vehicle sales in the country, especially for the uh, NEVs with uh, lower vehicle loan rates. It says the news stands to boost sales for NEO and other EV companies. According to the report, some Chinese banks have reduced the interest rates they charge on loans for EVs by 30 basis points over the past month. Some loan rates have been cut in half over the past two months from 6% to 3%. That obviously saves a lot of money over a five or six year period. They're also allowing consumers to finance up to 85% of the purchase price, which obviously lowers the down payment. And it said the EV uh, sector is holding up well amid a broad economic downturn in the country, which has been caused by the shutdowns. That EV sales remain robust with demand growing among consumers. Banks in China issued 1.8 billion of EV vehicle loans during the month of June, a 40% increase from May. They're also considering extending a tax exemption on electric vehicle purchases to further incentivize people to buy them. EV buyers in the country have been exempted from a 10% purchase tax since 2014. Beijing had planned to eliminate the incentive at the end of this year. An extension of the tax exemption will also benefit NEO and help lift its uh, domestic sales in China. Here they're talking about where NEO uh, reported 13,000 vehicles in June that they uh, delivered, which was up 60% from a year ago. And there they're talking about where the restrictions have been. They've been lowered a little bit. And my understanding of what's going on with that is that they're actually being a little bit more precise with their shutdowns. They're not just shutting down the whole area. They're actually going into specific neighborhoods and just shutting down areas where they have hot spots. So a little bit more intelligent um, shutdowns, even though, look, it's the Rony Rona, the newest version. It's going to do what it's going to do. It ran through this country very quickly. And, you know, you can keep shutting down if you want. It's going to do what it's going to do. It's a problem, and it's going to be a problem probably forever. It just going to have to learn to live with it. So those are really the three reasons. Lower interest rates on the uh, bank loans, extended tax incentives, which will help them as far as buying the vehicle, and then not as many shutdowns over the Rony Rona, and that's why these deliveries upticked. And here you can see in June, of course, they hit almost 13,000. And here's where these two shutdowns, which I labeled galactically stupid, that they're not going to work, and that killed April and May. And then Chucky was back over here when they were working on the uh, – ET7 and getting that line up in their factory. And yeah, yeah, she's right. That's hot. Almost 13,000. And they think uh, by the end of the year, a couple of different banks and uh, finance companies that think they're going to be delivering around 25,000 a month by the end of the year. So that'll be almost double where they are right now. So they're helping to eliminate a lot of these problems. Inflation is still a real issue. It's nothing but a hassle. Um, the Rony Rona, they're trying to work through it and then lowering these interest rates. You know, they were higher, so maybe this will help as, as well. But inflation is tough. Inflation's kicking everybody's butt right now. It's pretty much been caused by high gas prices. And then obviously payrolls have had to be increased in order for people to live. So you've got not only the higher cost of uh, gas, which is, affects everything, then you've got higher uh, then you've got higher payroll costs, and this is really all over the world right now. Everybody's dealing with inflation, and it's a real nightmare. What we need is more oil. And look, I'm Mr. EV. You can see I'm covering freaking NEO. You know, I want more EVs, but I think we're going to have to do both in the short term. And I know that's going to upset some people talking about drilling. How dare you? Yeah, Greta doesn't care for me, and it has to be her way or the highway. There can't be any in between. You can't short-term drill and push EVs and then long-term push EV. It has to be immediate. And if we have to suffer, we have to suffer. That's the way that it is. And inflation is just tearing up everybody. Basically, we're the freaking scarecrow. How about a little fire, scarecrow? 
Yep, fires, inflation, we're the scarecrow. It's just the way it is. It's wearing us out. But I am glad to see NEO up today. As you can see, it's up a little over 3%. It's trying to stay above this area of $20.75, which is support. And it ran up well above that. I fully expected it to pull down and to hit this line. It exactly did that. After a 100% run up from $12 up to 24 bucks, you are bound to have a pullback. And this is where that Grizzly report showed up. And Grizzly likes to hit you when you've had a big run and then they short the crap out of the stock and put out that report. And that's how they make their dollar. And right now on tip ranks, they're calling for $33 and change over the next 12 months, which would be about a 56% upside from where it is today. I think it can hit a little bit higher than that, closer to 35 to 40. The high uh, estimate is $48, low of 25. So pretty much everybody thinks it's going to go up over the next 12 months out of, what, 10 analysts that are looking into this stock. All right, folks, and that's NEO today, and that's why NEO's up. So I think those are some positive catalysts for the company. Now realize, you know, this company still got the delisting issues to be concerned about. Hopefully that gets worked out over the next several months, but that's, that's not to be ignored. You know, there's always special risks when you uh, talk about a Chinese stock, and that's it'll probably always be that way just because the Chinese government can be real butthole -ish about things. That's just kind of how they roll. But if you like this content, be sure to hit that like button. Let's me know to continue to cover NEO. And if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. I'd certainly appreciate it. And we'll see you next time on Mr. Frugal Investor.